Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel if you are new here. My name is Kate, if you are not new, welcome back to another vlog. This is going to be a weekend vlog, it's Saturday morning, 11.30. Say hi Cheeto. That's not for you, that's mine. Cheeto decided he wants to be in the way, so I'm just going to hold you guys, but me and Zach went food shopping last night at Stop and Shop because we didn't go grocery shopping in the beginning of the week and we needed like a few things like fruit and pasta, bagels, like stuff like that, stuff for the weekend and we went to Stop and Shop because we went like really late last night. It was like 10 o'clock. Cheeto, you can't go in the sink. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's like obsessed with going in the sink and licking everything and I've been trying to like put all the dishes right straight away in the dishwasher but sometimes I forget and he just loves going in the sink but I went to stop and shop last night like I was saying and it is so expensive there and we went there because it was really late we went to dinner with my mom we also went to Encore the casino which was super fun but we needed like a few groceries so we went to stop and shop because they were like the only place open and they are so expensive and now i know why i go to trader joe's like everything was like a dollar to two dollars more and the eggs were like five dollars and i know with like inflation and everything right now everything is going up but they are like so expensive and i will not be going back there again but we just needed some groceries so we didn't like really have a choice and I was gonna go to Trader Joe's like early this morning but that just did not seem fun and I really didn't want to do that so we went to stop and shop but I got some of these it's so good so you little um, juice shots I love these these are my favorite brand for juice shots this one is called happy it's blood orange guava so I'm gonna take this right now. I haven't had these in so long. I had one last night because I couldn't help myself and they're so good. And I also can never do them in like one shot. I have to do it two times. They're so, so yummy. Those are all of the ingredients. And if you see these at your grocery store, ooh, there's still some left. What am I doing? But if you see these at your grocery store, these are my favorite brand of juice shots. I haven't had juice shots in so long and I really want to start buying them again and like keeping them in the fridge. But here's what I'm wearing right now. I just have on this big oversized crew neck that I got in Martha's Vineyard over the summer and some a Goldie jeans and then I'll probably wear my Ugg slippers if we go out but just a chill comfy weekend outfit. <laughs> you are so sweet. I love you so much. I do. I love you, I love you. I went to Home Goods the other day and picked up some more Christmas stuff. If you watched my last vlog, I went to Target and picked up some like little Christmas trees and like those pine cones. And then this stuff is from Home Goods, which I'll show you guys right now. And then I also have this bag full of packages that I picked up when I went to my mom. So I will show you that. But if you are obsessed with Christmas like me, please let me know because I just have an obsession with Christmas and I feel like it always goes by so fast. So I love decorating early. I usually decorate <laughs> after Halloween, like November 1st and just like that entire week I'm going crazy for Christmas. So if you are like me, please let me know because so many people make fun of me, but I really don't understand because it's like the best time of the year and it goes by so quick so I love to like decorate and have everything up for a long time. So I'll show you what I got. I stocked up on some candles from Home Goods. They have the best candles. I'm just gonna take my hair down because my hair looks crazy in the clip right now. But I picked up a few candles from Home Goods. This one is Cinnamon Noel by Sand and Fog. It's like my favorite brand at Home Goods and it's so cute it's just like a little silver ornament and the candle smells so good i cannot wait to light all these and then i got this big one that's called winter pine that's also from sand and fog and i love the three wick candles because they last a really long time this one is from target this one also Smells like the last one, just like a Christmas tree scent. Like I'm so excited, you have no idea. And then I picked up this really cute candle 
This one was from Home Goods. I think this one is Sand and Fog. Yeah, this one is called Fraser Fur. And this one also smells like a Christmas tree. That's like my favorite Christmas scent around the holidays is like that Christmas tree pine scent. I love that, but like how cute. A little house. This last candle is from Target. This one is called Frosted Sugar Cookies. Smells like vanilla and cookies and just it smells amazing. So those are all of the holiday candles that I picked up. And then in this bag, I have like a few decorations. I got this really cute handmade little Christmas tree from Home Goods. It's sparkly. And my mom actually got this from Home Goods like a few years ago. And I've always wanted one for my apartment whenever that would be. And now I have my own apartment, so I always wanted to get this. I just think it's so cute and pretty and like minimal looking and I just love it. So I picked up this. Got these really cute reindeer I was thinking for like the TV stand. So, so cute. So got two cute little reindeer. And then from Target, I got these wooden Christmas trees. I'm like really into like the wood and like neutral color decorations. Obviously I love like everything neutral and beige and white. So I picked up these cute little trees that were actually in like the dollar section, like the stuff that they have in those like bins when you first walk into Target. So this one was $5. And then this one was only a dollar. And then I also got this cute sparkly one, which was also a dollar. So I got those. I picked up this like pine cone. What is he doing out there? Oh my gosh. I picked up these like pine cones, like little berry situation for like the clear base that I have that's on the TV stand. So I was thinking of putting this stuff in there. That's all of the Christmas stuff that I got for now. I definitely want to go back and get like christmas hand towels for the kitchen and like little last minute stuff but i feel like going at christmas decoration shopping this early is like good because you can like find all the good stuff at home goods and stuff before it goes out before everyone else gets it so but i highly suggest to go to home goods by you and start getting decorations now because i always made the mistake of going like in December and everything would be gone, like all the good stuff. So definitely go early if you can. So then I got a few packages, like I said, at my mom's house. First off, I got this package from Crown Affair. They sent it in the little Sephora bag because they came out with a hair mask. I think it's a hair mask, a hair mask and a cleansing scrub, which seems really, really cute. So I'm excited to try that. They also wrote me a cute little note. So I'm excited to try that. And then I bought myself a new pair of sunglasses. These ones are from a nine thing. And I actually saw Maggie McDonald wearing these in one of her vlogs. Dude, you need to like go. Um, I saw Maggie McDonald wearing these in one of her vlogs and I thought they were so, so cute. I loved the style of them and i just thought they were really really cute and i love this style of sunglasses i think they're so so cute so i bought these for myself <laughs> i always try to look on amazon before i like splurge on anything but i couldn't find a pair that looks like this and i actually do have another pair from of sunglasses from amazon that i always wear and i always link in my videos because they're so cute and i actually genuinely love them but i couldn't find ones that were like this style and that looked like durable and like they were gonna last me a long time so that's why i kind of like to splurge on items like this because they will last you a long time you know that they're good quality they're durable and you don't have to like keep repurchasing a pair of crappy sunglasses if that makes sense and then i got this scalp comb like a little gua sha scalp comb and some facial oil by this brand called wilding so i want to see what this gua sha looks like oh my gosh this thing is so big look at how big this is oh my gosh but this feels so good oh my god i cannot wait to use this i definitely want to try this on my scalp and like use the um scrub that i got from crown affair this is so big 
oh my gosh like reminds me of a bat or something and then that's the oil that they sent with it and then osea sent me a bunch of stuff and i'm so excited about it osea is one of my favorite skincare brands i love them so much so they sent me their bestseller minis collection and i'm so excited about this it has the ocean cleanser sea serum the body butter the body oil anti-aging body balm and then a water cream which i've never tried that before so i'm excited to open this up or i could even give this as a gift for someone for christmas maybe i'll do that because i have so much of their stuff and they also sent me another big humongous thing of their body oil like the full regular size and then they sent me the body bestsellers little body oil and body butter duo so i'm gonna have so much of this stuff so i would definitely love to give it to people for christmas and stuff because i definitely do not need all of this but love osea i love that brand it's seriously one of my favorite skincare brands and if you're looking for good quality skincare like face skincare or body skincare i highly suggest looking into osea they have really really good stuff so that's my little haul for you i also have this new candle burning that i picked up from home goods the other day as well when i got all of the christmas stuff because i needed a new one for the coffee table and i'm pretty sure it's called pumpkin sea salt and it smells so good it smells like pumpkin and like caramel and it's so good and i love like the three wick candles like i said because they just last so long came with a cute little pumpkin cover so super super cute i'm gonna make a smoothie right now i haven't had smoothies in so long i've just been like not in the mood because of like the cold weather but i had one the other day for like the first time in a long time and now i'm like craving one so this is my favorite quick and easy smoothie to make i just do a frozen banana frozen berries i have this mix from trader joe's so peanut butter this is my favorite peanut butter it's creamy and salted from trader joe's as well some protein powder vanilla i have this one from orgain and then some oat milk i also add some ice in there too to make it extra thick and that's it it's so so yummy and i'm so excited because i've been craving this smoothie look at how thick this is i always add some ice and then i always do frozen fruit because it makes my smoothies so thick like it literally won't even come at the bottom so if you want thick smoothies always use frozen fruit it's so much better we just pulled up to target zach needs to get shampoo and conditioner he's been using mine yeah. And I use the Whey shampoo and conditioner, which obviously isn't cheap. And he keeps telling me that he's not using it, and he's used it like... I use it like a two times. Max. Two times is too many. <laughs> he literally... You haven't had shampoo for like the longest time, though. It's so been, actually, what like have you been using? Two, three weeks. <laughs> it's been more than that. No, that's it. And then he uses my Laneige lip mask. He uses my but Trader Joe's coconut. I still Joe's have that old coconut. shampoo in there. I have shampoo. Just I dabble oh. on some of your conditioner. That's what I usually go through most because my hair is so thick. So Zach needs to get shampoo, and conditioner. Maybe we'll look at the Christmas stuff. <laughs> Maybe. This lighting is so bad. This is also, I have my car back. Oh yeah, that's right. I got my car yesterday. She's all fixed. I'm so happy. It's looking good. It's, it was literally two weeks. Well, not exactly, but almost. So, say a prayer. You should totally get that one. No. <laughs> this should be a legal three-in-one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. That's like not normal. Back from Target, I only picked up three things and Zach got his shampoo. We needed some more storage bags for the freezer when I freeze bananas and stuff. I really want to get like reusable storage bags though, that way I don't have to like keep buying them. 
but for now I just got the sandwich bags and the freezer bags and then I only picked up one Christmas item. They didn't have much more from when I was there last time so I just got this candle that smells like a Christmas tree that's like my favorite scent like I was saying earlier and I really love the jar of it. It reminds me of like an ugly Christmas sweater so had to get that and that is all I got from Target but I'm going to get started on making like an early dinner. It's only four o'clock ish almost and I'm gonna make like a bolognese kind of situation but I have this yummy pasta sauce that I got at Trader Joe's. It has pumpkin and butternut squash so I'm excited to see how that tastes. And then I have this cute little pumpkin pasta that I also got from Trader Joe's a while ago and I have yet to make it. So I thought it would be a good time to make it for like a little fall weekend. I have some fresh basil that I'm gonna cut up as well as the ground beef. So I'm going to brown this in my pan with some olive oil, salt, pepper, and boil my pasta. I'm also gonna light this candle that smells so, so good. It got like all weird from when I blew it out last time, but I love having like a candle lit when I'm baking or cooking. It's like such a vibe. It smells so, so yummy. Happy Sunday. I'm chilling on the couch right now. Cheetos beside me, cuddling with me, but I'm watching Gilmore Girls. I haven't watched Gilmore Girls in so long. I just haven't had the time to like sit down and watch it. And at nighttime, usually me and Zach both watch a show together. And that's like one of our ways to like spend time together after the day is done and like watch a show together and like have something to like talk about over so I haven't had time to watch it by myself so I'm probably gonna watch a couple episodes to catch up on it because I really want to finish it but yeah so happy Sunday it's gonna be an overcast gloomy day today that's like my favorite type of Sunday and last night what did we end up doing oh yeah the pasta that I made was so good the pasta itself was really yummy. I'm pretty sure that it was made with butternut squash. And then the sauce obviously had butternut squash and pumpkin in it. And it was like kind of sweet. And it was really, really good. Zach really liked it. So I'll have to go to Trader Joe's and see if they still have that pasta. I hope that they do. But we have like a bunch of leftovers. So that will be good for throughout the week. I made myself a little chai. I had a bagel with some cream cheese that I bought the other day when we went grocery shopping and it was like a dairy-free strawberry cream cheese and I've always wanted to try it like I always see it in the grocery store and I've always wanted to try it so I got it and it was so yummy it didn't even taste like a dairy-free cream cheese it was really really good I had it on like a little mini everything bagel so that was my breakfast I had my chai just chilling on the couch relaxing a little bit I was so tired this morning I literally woke up at seven to feed 
Cheeto and then I went back to bed because he was being such a spaz last night and jumping around all over the bed. He has like this little bouncy ball that's like his favorite toy and he was running around with that like all last night so I was pretty tired and I feel like everything just caught up to me when I didn't get enough sleep this past week because he was waking me up a lot so I was happy that I got to like go back to bed and go back to sleep and let my body rest because I definitely needed it because usually once I'm up I can't go back to sleep so I knew that I needed some more rest so good morning happy sunday this is the vibe and i'm so content and also the leaves look so pretty outside i love the fall this was the cream cheese that i was talking about it's literally so good it reminds me of like strawberry ice cream it tastes amazing and like i said it's dairy free but you can't even tell so if you are looking for something to put on your bagels on your toast like a new cream cheese or like topping or like a spread definitely try this it's really really good they had plain and i think like onion and chive as well but the strawberry looked the best to me so definitely we'll be buying this again Zach are gonna go run to Starbucks. I have my eye patches on. I'm considering about leaving them on since I haven't had them on for that long. Maybe I'll just take them off in the car, I don't know. But I don't know if I'll get a chai because I already made one at home obviously, but I didn't finish it. Sometimes it tastes really good and sometimes it doesn't. Like nothing compares to Starbucks. I don't know what it is in the cold foam. It's like my favorite thing and mine never tastes the same as when I get it at Starbucks, so I don't know what I'll do. Maybe I'll get egg bites, but I'm wearing my super puff because it's chilly out and I think it's gonna rain in a little bit too. And I like to wear this because obviously it's like rain repellent. And then I'm just wearing flare leggings and my new balances. That's okay, could I please do a tall iced chai with pumpkin cold foam? And then can I also do a grande iced Americano with cream and salted caramel cold foam? All right, your total is 11.13. I'll see you at the window. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you too. I ended up getting a chai because I didn't even finish the one that I made at home. And also I've been getting it without almond milk because one, it saves me like a dollar. And two, it tastes so much better. So I'm probably just gonna get it with regular milk. I got uh, Melon and let's see, what is this thing? Your grande iced mm -hmm. Americano. Grande iced Americano. With cream instead mm -hmm. of milk. No caramel drizzle. Not today. It's just like too much. Like, I don't understand why they charge for almond milk and stuff like that. It's so annoying. For almond milk? Oh no, it's not. Because it's like, if you're, like I'm not lactose intolerant or anything, but. Yeah, like, if, that's you, so if you unfair. can't have that, that would that'd be so expensive, going everywhere. It is. Like, my drink is almost $7 with almond milk, so... Yeah, that thing's tiny. I know. It's so tall. It's the smallest size. Yeah. But we came to the Starbucks that's a little bit further away from the apartment because there's a Home Goods in the plaza, and I really want to go in there and look for, like more christmas stuff <laughs> it's gonna be here before you know it and also if you go in the beginning of december like i was saying yesterday all the good stuff is always gone so you have to go soon. gotta go early mm -hmm. and time goes by so fast like it's gonna be here in two months halloween's already, already here and i just got a text from my dentist saying that i have 
an appointment on Friday, which is so weird. Like I just remember going there not too long ago, but I go every six months. So the last time I went was six months ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a schedule line too. So. Just got back from Home Goods. I just threw in our bed sheets and the duvet to be washed. That's why our bed is unmade, but I only got three things from Home Goods. I found like exactly what I was looking for. I wanted to get some dish towels and then I was looking for a pan like this size for when we cook eggs because the other one that we have got like all burnt and gross so I really wanted to get a new one and this was only 10 bucks so really good deal and then I was looking for dish towels and I really wanted to get Christmas ones and I found these really cute ones with reindeer and Christmas trees and then this one is red I thought these were really cute for the kitchen so i'll add this to my christmas bag collection i have to like put these in the closet but i've just been like collecting christmas stuff so i can decorate when november comes but then i also just got these plain ones for like when it's not christmas so these ones are just gray and white and we just needed like another set of them so that's all i got from home goods i didn't want to get too much and also i don't want to go like overload with the decorations because we don't really like have a lot of space as it is and i definitely don't want it to look cluttered so that's all i got from home goods so i just took my shower for the day it's literally 2 30 and i just showered we're having a slow day today and that's totally fine but i just did my skincare i'm gonna put on my pumpkin Laneige lip mask favorite thing in the entire world i say that about like everything i need to stop but i love so many products and they're all my favorite so i only say that about things i actually genuinely love so that's my skin i was gonna do my nighttime skincare since i showered so late but it's only 2 30 so i'll just do my nighttime skincare later i didn't do like sunscreen or anything since i don't know if we're going back out probably not but it's gonna be raining and i don't want to have sunscreen on my face right now but one of my favorite skincare products is this merit great skin serum i talked about this before in a couple vlogs ago but it's like the perfect glass skin healthy dewy glow from within look and it makes my skin like super supple and moisturized so i have that on it just makes my skin look extremely healthy it's one of my favorite skincare products right now i only put it on in the morning because there's no reason for me to wear it at nighttime so that is another like secret weapon product that i love to make my skin look super healthy especially when i'm not wearing makeup for the day it just like really adds that hydration look to your skin so i love that and then i also tried the crown affair little mask and cleansing scrub duo when i just showered this feels so so good on my scalp i've never tried like a hair ignore my laundry going in the background but i've never tried like a cleansing scrub for my scalp before and it like lathered like a shampoo and it says on the back to use it like instead of your shampoo like once a week but i used shampoo afterwards anyways just because i wanted my hair to be clean but it feels so so nice on my scalp and it feels like all the dead skin came off and like just the built up products like my dry shampoo it just felt like it really got in there and cleaned my scalp it smells really good it looks like that by the way it's like super fun smells so good so this is gonna be a new favorite i'm probably gonna use this like once a week just to make sure my scalp is super clean especially going into the colder months where it's cold and obviously your skin is dry and your scalp is dry so that's gonna be a new favorite of mine and then i also used the mask afterwards my hair is super soft it was so easy to brush through i also have another hair mask but i think i like this one better someone also asked me i think it was on my instagram my hair care routine and i did share it on my story but i figured that i would just share it here as well so i used the way thick hair shampoo and conditioner i started using this over the summer really really like it especially if you have thick hair i have thick and curly hair so i really like how this is like designed for thicker hair and it smells really good it lasts me a long time 
it lathers really well so I only have to use like a little bit of the shampoo which I love because I go through shampoo and conditioner like there's no tomorrow because I have so much hair so that is the shampoo and conditioner that I use and then in between washes I recently got this Amika dry shampoo this is the best dry shampoo I've ever used in my entire life I always used to use like drugstore shampoos like Batiste and Dove but they never worked as good as they should and they always leave like white marks all over my hair obviously because I have really really dark hair you can see it very clearly that I have like something on my head it doesn't leave like any residue that you can like visibly see and it works really well it smells really good so this is my new favorite dry shampoo and then I put a hair oil in my hair this one is also by Crown Affair I just do a few drops of this every time I wash my hair rub it between my hands and I just put it on the ends of my hair to make the frizz go away and just to keep my curls looking shiny and healthy and it makes my hair super soft and smells really good. That is all I do for my hair. I don't use any heat on it. I don't curl it, flat iron it. I just let it air dry. I don't even blow dry it because that takes too long and I don't have the patience. So I just like part my hair like this in the middle and either put it up in a clip or let it air dry down, which I've been doing recently. And that's all I do for my hair. Every time I go and get my hair cut, my hairdresser always raves about my hair being so healthy and I love that because I really try and take care of it and I don't use any heat on it whatsoever. I don't color it. I have in the past, but it's like obviously all grown out now and I don't think I will ever color my hair ever again. So that is my hair care routine. So it's six o'clock right now. I'm gonna make some apple crisp. I'm using the recipe that I posted on my food account last year. So if you wanna screenshot this and make it for yourself, it's like a healthier version with coconut sugar, almond flour. These are all the ingredients, maple syrup. And I have these apples that are called rave apples. I've never heard of them before, but Zach picked them out at the store and it said that they're sweet online. So I'm sure it'll be fine but this is gonna be our fall dessert for tonight i haven't made apple crisp yet so this is the first time this season that i'm making it do my night skincare the apple crisp is almost done there's like 10 minutes left i can't wait it smells so good but i'm gonna do my nighttime skincare right now i'm gonna cleanse my face 
and I'm also going to exfoliate. I love this exfoliator because you can just like add it in your cleanser. This is the rice polish from Tatcha and it's very gentle. It's not like very harsh. Also, Zach is playing guitar if you hear that in the background. Um, sorry if that's annoying, but I don't want to tell him to stop because I don't want to be rude, but I'm just going to add this to my cleanser. It's supposed to rain like all tonight and all tomorrow, which I'm very excited about because we haven't had like a couple rainy, gloomy days in a little bit. So I'm excited for the rain and to just have like chill, gloomy, vibey days. Those are my absolute favorite. It sounds like there's a full on concert in our living room right now. I'm also gonna do a little Sunday night face mask. This one is from Tatcha. It's called the Clarifying Mask. Love this. It's super good. It always makes my skin very glowy and I have a lot of redness in my skin and it helps with that. That's my little Sunday night face mask, but I actually moved this little tray that was in our entryway table. We had like our keys and our wallets on it, but I moved it into the bathroom because we just got like a corner shelf for the front door that I don't even know how to explain it. So I moved this into here because I just like had everything thrown on the counter and it didn't really look neat. So I brought this in here and it looks really cute. I put some perfume on it, like my everyday skincare. I have a little candle and I think it just looks much more put together. So I think that's really cute. So that's a little bathroom update. This tray is from Target. If I can find it, I will link it down below. The last time I tried to find it, it was like sold out. So I hope that they still have it because it's like such a cute little vanity tray. So I just took it out of the oven. I already scooped us two bowls because I know Zach can't wait to eat it and I can't wait to eat it either. And we have this ice cream. This is Zach's favorite. It's chocolate chip cookie dough because we don't have any vanilla, but that will do. It smells so good. Again, screenshot the recipe if you want to make it. It smells and it's so good. It's really good. So it's almost 8 o'clock right now. I made our bed a little bit ago. I'm gonna do some reading before me and Zach watch a show. He's just finishing up playing guitar. And this is the book that I've been reading, The Great Age Reboot. It's super good if you're into science and health. I've been loving reading this in the mornings and when I can before bed. So I'm just gonna chill in bed while I read for a little bit. So I'm gonna end off the vlog here. Don't forget to make the apple crisp. It's so, so good. I honestly think that it was better than last year when I made it. And also Zach said the same thing. It was so, so good. And the apples tasted just like honey crisp apples, which I was actually shocked. And we were looking them up online the other day and it said they're like a cross between honey crisp and like some other type of apple. I've never even heard of rave apples before, but you need to make the apple crisp. It's so, so good. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave me a comment, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, everything is always linked down below. I love you so much and I will see you next time.